right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and it's time for us to open up year number two of the Baltimore Orioles franchise here in MLB The Show 21. Hope you're all having a great day. We're going to get right into it here. We've got spring training and then the start of the new league year. So without further ado, let's get it popping. We've got a roster to go through, some spring training to sim. Uh, we'll take a look at some of these contract extensions, uh, Come, I think, come the start of the regular season. And, uh, yeah, we're hoping for a better year, too. We were 75 and 87 in year one, missed the playoffs, had probably a better year than I thought we would have. Um, and then the offseason came around, and we made a pair of big splashes. We were playing with the money ball. We were working it, uh, just trying to trying to pinch our pennies so that we could go out and get a stud. And we got ourselves a stud starting pitcher in the name Noah Syndergaard. He joins the O's on a what a six year deal, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six year, thirty one million dollar a year deal. And then we also go out playing the money ball and pick up Corey Seager, the twenty seven year old shortstop, uh, on a two year, thirty million dollar contract. So his was a great deal because we've got Adam Hall, we've got Taron Vaver coming up through the system, and uh, if those guys are ready after two years, we can we can sign and trade Seager, we can keep him and ask Vaver on them to play at different positions. I mean, the possibilities are endless with the depth that we have at second and short. So it's going to be a great year. Let's go ahead and uh, turn and burn through spring training real fast. So... We're just going to kind of see. We're going to auto the lineups. I'm not worried about it. We'll do it before opening day here. Um, and a decent a decent start here, 4-4. Four and four. I mean, obviously, the goal is going to be to improve off of last year's record as we're on a bit of a hot tear right now. Look at those dubs. And we are following that up with a decent losing streak here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right, so spring training comes to an end. 16-11 and 11 was the record for your Baltimore Orioles. Uh, the worst team... Pirates of 5-22, and 22. yeah, you can't get much worse than that. So um, let's go ahead. We do have a little bit of free agent work to do. We've got to sign some depth for the uh, for the team. Um, where am I, what am I looking for? The roster, here we go. Uh, you can see on the right-hand right, right -hand side of your screen over there, we've got to sign ourselves uh, a left fielder. we got, we got to find some depth. we got to find depth at catcher, left, third, and reliever so we need a, yeah let's just let's just go through we'll prune free agency here and find ourselves some depth so first things first we got to find uh five at least five relievers we'll probably find some more here uh again these are going i'm looking for younger guys i'm looking for younger guys that maybe have not played as much i don't love taking deep potential players but i might i might be in a position where i have to here I mean, because we're getting down to the overalls that even I don't want. So Juan Mejia, yeah, we're going to have to take some deep potential guys here. And these will just be, I guess, placeholders until we can get to the guys that we want in. So um, Adam Lau on a $70,000 deal. And we don't have a ton of uh, a ton of room to play with here. Luis Gonzalez, we'll pick him up on a 70 k We only have about $3 million in in space so these are for sure just going to be pure depth players why it's short there's another reliever for us uh, we'll take Juan Mejia as well we'll pick the 27 year old up I think that we're getting we got to get close to a decent number here that's not what I wanted to do whoops I was not looking who is that that we just picked up some guy we just oh that's it that's on me that's totally on me I got to get rid of that guy now come on you got to be kidding me that I just did that. This guy, Yairo Diaz, who I'm now paying 670. He's a bum. What the hell? Excuse my language. You got to be kidding me right now. I try not to cuss on this channel because I want it to be kid friendly, but that that was that was just complete stupidity on my end. Complete stupidity. And let me guess. Let me guess. Now, and now we're on the hook for 500. Just get him off. You, just, you, you know what? I, I can't even trade that. I guarantee you I can't even trade that. I will guarantee you all the money in our budget. I'll be, it'll be a miracle if I can trade this contract. Is there value for that? I'll take prospects, please. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what, Anything? 
nothing. Can I, anything, literally anything. Nothing. Okay. That's great. Can I, can I even just like manufacture a trade? I'll take anybody. Uh, can I have this guy? Nope. How about this dude? Nope. Okay. Yeah, maybe not the Red Sox. Let's go to a random team. Hey, Milwaukee. You want this guy? You want him? Scott Roberts? Nope. How about this one? Nope. Clayton Andrews? No. This guy? Please? Anybody? Help? I don't think anybody wants him. <laughs> no one wants him. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think we might be stuck with this dude. We might as well just leave it. I mean, there's nothing that's going to... Nothing good's going to come from me just shopping the dude relentlessly. So, oh, that's probably going to hurt my... Yeah, yeah, we we don't have a lot of space here on the in the team anymore. Now that I just did that, wasted a half million dollars on a dude. On a bum that I'm not going to play. So, that's good. Um... For future reference, let's really attempt to avoid doing that. And these guys are all just, there's no potential in this free agent class. Look at all these Ds over here. Holy cow. All right. All right. Well, we've, for the most part, taken care of our issues at reliever. Yeah, we've got 16 relievers. That's enough to at least fill up the pen at our, our three main levels of play. <laughs> We got to get two catchers here. We got to pick up two catchers. Yadi Molina, no. Um, <laughs> as much as I'd love to, uh, we're set at catcher. So we got to we got to pick up two minor league catchers here. Uh, it's gonna have to be two bums again. Yep, 60k, and we we have to work. This is something I, I completely forgot to do was sign quality depth and free agency. I don't think there's anybody here that isn't deep potential at this point. So we're just gonna get these guys in for the sake of getting them in. All right, so that takes care of our catching issue. We've got to pick up a guy at third as well. Uh, how about how about this guy, Andy Abanez, Mandy Alvarez? Oh, hey, 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 we got C potential. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold everything here. Oh, Philip Evans B potential at 61 overall. Is he on a rookie deal? <laughs> no way, no freaking way. How much would he want? How much would he want? Out of curiosity, 440k a year. If we drop him down. He wants more, but for whatever reason, he drops his demand down to 280k. No, 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 no. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, even for the B potential. He's already 29. It would just be a depth player. Um, we're just gonna pick this guy up. That's that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take that guy. Hopefully, it doesn't come to the point where I have to play my depth at third because we'll be screwed up Blanks Creek with no paddle. So. Um, we got to get one left fielder here. Stuart Fairchild, 24 years of age. Perfect. Hop on the hop on the bus. Okay, okay. So the depth isn't great right now, but we will fix that in the coming years. Um, now we're going to, let's go ahead and take a quick look. So these are the extensions we have to make. These are the extensions we've got. we got Chan Sisko, Lakin Sr., Brevia, who hasn't pitched a game for us yet, and Lopez. So... Cisco, let's see, what is he going to want? 3.9 a year, you are out of your freaking mind if you think that I am paying you 3.9 a year at 68 overall to come in and not put the bat on the ball. So you're going to wait, and we're going to see if your price drops off. Travis Lakin Sr., he's been a reliable guy for us, the 27-year-old. What does he want? 2.5 a year. You're also slightly out of your mind, but not nearly as out of your mind Um Let's, let's go ahead and do two years at 1.6. There we go. So we got him back. John Brebbia, uh, I haven't really seen any of him in order to like convince me that he needs to be extended, so we're going to hang on to that one. All right, I think we're ready. Let's, let's, let's bump up into the regular season. Uh, come up. Up one, right here we go. Advance to the regular season. All righty, so we gotta we gotta set the roster. I know our roster's probably way over right now. Oh no, it, it set an automatic twenty six man for us. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's see what it did. Let's see if we like the changes it made. So we have our five starters: Cindergard, Means, Vines, Rennie. We are not putting Thompson in the pen. Matthew Thompson will be our number five starter. Keegan Aiken will go to the bullpen. That is that much I know for a fact. I want him in long relief. So. 
Keegan Aiken goes to the bullpen. Matty Thompson is here. Uh, at AAA, we've got D.L. Hall, William Suzuki, the draft pick. He's going to be competing with D.L. Hall for that number one spot, but I'm going to give it to – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say they're probably going to give it to Hall. Jim Cuevas will be the three. Tom Eshelman will be in there at four. Alex Lang at five. Uh, these are, this is a tough one. I think Lopez has to be the guy going down here. He's 28. I got to give way to the young guns here. I've got to give way to the young guns. So we're going to drop Lopez to double A. Let him pitch down there. And obviously we can make a change if we have to make a change. But Eshelman will come up. That's the five there. And then Franco's ready to come up as well. So Franco, he'll go to double A. Uh, WR. And then uh, James Bond, he's down there. Is he? I don't even know if he, he's, he's fresh for us, is James Bond. So we'll, we'll stick him in double A for now. Just because they're going to need starters down there. I don't even know if they have... It's because we have the sixth starter up here. So they're going to need a starter down there. So we will pick them up a starter to stick down there in triple A. Or in double A. Relievers, one, two, three, four, five. Good. Our relieving core is a little aged at the bottom half there. Uh, Cesar Valdez. We have now have enough relieving depth that Valdez, is been, he's been relegated down there to the triple A. Uh, this looks fine and dandy. Uh, our closers, Hunter Harvey. They bumped him up to triple A. I think that's probably where he should be. I, I think that's a fair assumption that Hunter Harvey can go to triple A. Osuna is obviously going to be up in the show. And then Evan Phillips, the B potential man, I'm going to bump him to double A. I think he's ready to at least start pitching in double-A. Uh, our catching situation, we're going to go with the same the same way it was last year. By the end of the year, Velo and Cisco, Rutschman, Severino in the MLB, and then our deaf bums down there uh, in double-A, just filling space essentially so that guys can play. First baseman, oh my goodness gracious, we only have three of them. Holy cow, we need to pick up first baseman. We need to pick up some starters. We've got to fix the depth now. Um all over the place we got to fix depth okay hang on just a minute we've got to just i'm sorry i'm sorry boys i thought i had this figured out and i definitely did not we got to pick up another starter here how about this guy 70k perfect he can go to the Bay Sox. uh we just got to pick up depth it's all about depth jamie evans let's get him down there sanchez here's another one there we go We've just got it. We've got to get depth, young depth that can just sit in the minors for us and take up space, <laughs> just in case injuries happen. These guys are gonna. We just we need flexibility within our within our organization right now. The closers, I'm not asking. Is there a good one down here? A decent looking guy, D potential for for Krisky there, for Krisk, Ralph Garza, Will Carter. Okay, these guys are bombs now at the bottom. We're not gonna we're not gonna worry about that. At catcher, we're fine. We've got six catchers down there. At first, we have some work to do. Albert Pujols is there. He's 42. Guy has fallen off a stinking cliff. Batted 178 in 2021 with the LA Angels and is still just not calling it quits at age 42. Uh, I can pick him up just for just for uh, bleeps and giggles, but I feel like that would be a waste of money just to stick him in the minors because he wouldn't be playing up in the majors, not on my team. You know, uh, he would just be strictly to play down there in the minors. But I think I'd rather have a guy like Peter Welch, who's 19 and can at least grow. Or, you know, I don't think we're gonna find anything too spectacular. Maybe, maybe we should. Maybe we should. I might do it just for the. Can I do it just for comical relief? I. Yeah. You know what? You know what? Screw it. We're gonna take Albert Pujols for comic relief at this point. Uh, and if we end up being good and going to the playoffs, I will make him part of the 40-man roster. You have my word. Mark it at, at, at 1421 of the episode, episode 7, that if we make the playoffs this year, I will put Albert Pujols on the 40-man roster so that he can play it. He can be up there just in the event that we somehow win this whole thing. Um, let's get Peter Welch as well just to get some extra depth down there, and we'll pick up David Irizarry. So there we go. Uh, at second, we need just some guys to eat eat reps down in the minors. So Wendell Rio, he looks good. Uh, Jace Peterson, he's 31. Andy Young, nope, not for that. Not for that. Nope, 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 nope. Don't want it, don't want it, don't want it. Diego Santos, there we go. All right, there's a couple of guys there. We'll just, we just got to keep picking up depth. We've got to keep picking up depth. Grab one of these guys. Let's go over to short. David Masters, 28. Perfect. 
He looks pretty good for depth at short. I think we're already pretty deep at short, but just for the heck of it, we're going to do it. Ronaldo Knight. Let's go ahead and grab him. Ty as a party. That's a dope last name. Uh, all right, all right. Ryan Grotjohn. That's got to be the last one. Okay. Uh, we'll pick up one or two guys in center. We've already... Once you... Outfielders, I, I've noticed a lot of the time can play anywhere you want. Not that guy. And definitely not that guy. How about you? Nope. How about you? Nope. How about Lewis Brinson? Nope. How about Ryan Court? No, I already know he won't. Darren Blanco. There we go. Okay, okay. One there. Garrett Moran. There we go. And in right. Here's a guy who's 18 years of age. Perfect. Okay, okay. I think we've got plenty now of, of depth within the organization. There we go. Okay, back to the roster. Our starting situation, we've we figured out. There we go. We've got some extra depth in different places now. Yeah, 1-1-1-0. One, 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 perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now let's go back here first. There we go. Okay, okay. So we've got MLB, MLB. Eugene Lynn's going to play in AAA. Albert Pujol is get your buns down to AAA. No one's going to take this dude on waivers. I will tell you that right now. Nobody's taking that guy on waivers. At six, if they do, that's on them. 62 overall, though. It's just not, it ain't happening. So he'll play down there in AAA. These two guys will play in AA. Beautiful. Second base. We've got the four guys that are all evidently going to play up here at the show in, in some variety. So we've got them. Uh, we'll be Santiago. He'll be taking the reps at AAA. Rio and then Santos. That's fine. Over at third, Rio Ruiz. That's fine. Ruiz is kind of our guy of the future right now. Shortstops, we got Corey Seager, who is our shortstop slash possibly third baseman. Him and Ruiz are the same same age. So we got him. Adam Hall. Vavra will start in AAA. Gunnar Henderson, we're going to drop down to AA for right now. Reynald Delgado, he'll go to double A. I mean, this is this is a tough shortstop core that we've got working. And Malkin Canelo, or Canelo, he'll go to class A. Honestly, you know what? We're going to switch that. We're going to bring you to triple A, Gunnar Henderson. Masters can stay in class A for right now. You know what? No, he's got to stay in double A, doesn't he? That would be stupid of me to do that. And then we'll just, we'll just run three and three, honestly. All these guys can play. So we're good there. I don't really care about the depth there. The depth and center is going to be just fine. Scott Barry, he was a pick, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was a draft pick. He was a draft pick. So we're going to leave him down there, let him get seasoned and and right all as well. DJ Stewart, I'm guessing, was the casualty of – he was. was the casualty of Albert Pujols coming up into the lineup. So Stewart, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be okay. So, we'll leave him down there for now. If he plays well, he can come up. If he plays well, he can come up. Let's take a look real quick at the lineups. Uh, this is kind of automated, so let's see. We've got, I think all of our guys here right now hit well against righties, with the exception of Jemai Jones. I don't know. Does Valaika have, Yolmer maybe have better? No, really. He must be our best hitter against righties at second, so... Yeah, you got Jemai Jones there. Everyone else is pretty solid against right-handers. With the exception of, like, Rio at third, but I'm not pulling him just for that. Uh, righties with no DH. It should be roughly the same lineup here. Yep, lefties. Who is that? Austin Hayes? Holy cow, that is awful contact against lefties in center. And Benoit isn't much better. Urias, maybe? No. No. All right, I, I'm comfortable with the lineups that we've got. Why in the world would we have this dude batting leadoff? What in the world is that? You want to have him play, that's fine, but... Who's somebody who can at least hit the ball? Give the like up there batting leadoff. I mean, for cry I, man. 39 overall contact. You're gonna have a batting lead off. That's just that's just dumb. No. All right. Last thing we got pitching rotation. That is the perfect rotation. They've already got Aiken in the bullpen. They must have heard me talking. Noah Cindergard, John Means, Jace Vines. He was another one of our uh, our ac 
acquisitions. I think he was a Rule 5 draft guy that he will slot in at number three. Luke Rennie, our, one of our pieces for the future, the 27-year-old. And Matt Thompson, our 20-year-old future ace. So here we go. Here we go. That's the lineup. That's the team. This is this is going to be something else. Why do I have to re I'm sorry, boys. I'm all over the place right now. There we go. All right. There we go. We've got all that. View budget. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not worried about any of that stuff. Scotty's going to take care of itself. We open up a three-game set against the Toronto Blue Jays. Against the Blue Jays. Here we go. Noah Syndergaard, Hunjin Ryu to open the season. I'm going to take a sip of coffee, and then we're going to get going. All righty. Good sip of coffee in my uh, in my belly, and we are, we're ready to roll here, so... Here we go. Noah Syndergaard, Hunjin Ryu. And the Orioles have 43 players on their 40-man roster. Well, that is a problem, isn't it? That's that's disappointing. 40-man uh, roster. Let's just take a look down here. Hunter Harvey, we're going to keep on. This guy. They got the bum. They've got the bum on the 40-man. That's not okay. Uh, we got one there. Albert Pujols, hey, we're keeping him on. We're keeping him on the 40-man. I want him there. I want him there. Yes, Neil Diaz, he can be taken off the 40-man. Uh, and Lopez can stay. Stuart Fairchild can also get dumped off the 40-man. There we go. Now we're down to 40. Pujols is staying on, baby. He's staying on. He's staying on in AAA. Here we go. Now is it going to go? It will, and it's a win for Noah Syndergaard. Goes seven complete, strikes out three. Beautiful. We're off to a, a good start. I think already a better start than we had last year. So here we go. John Means, Julian Merriweather. That's a win, 3 nothing. Jace Vines and Trent Thornton, and that's a loss. But, hey, we won the first series. Again, we, we're a better team than we were last year. I'm going to expect that we we are winning more series. we got to win each series. Take two out of three, take three out of four. Here we go. Against the Yankees, they had a rough start, 0-3. Holy cow. 0-3 start for the New York Yankees. That's that's unheard of. Luke Rennie, Davey Garcia, we get him 7-6. to six. Matty Thompson against Corey Kluber. Big matchup for Matt Thompson. And the Bay Sox, we're going to auto-fix that double-A roster, and we're going to let triple-A figure it out. We lose 7-6, to six, and it was Osuna who blew it there. Rough start for him. Noah Syndergaard, we're back at the top of the order against Garrett Cole. That's a 2-1 to one victory. Tanner Scott picks up the win out of the pen. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're back against Toronto, another three-game set. John, John Means, Julian Merriweather. That's a win, 2 to nothing. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Jace Vines, Trent Thornton. That's a loss. Luke Rennie, Alex Fagalde. That's a win. 9-1. to 9-1. to one. Hey, hey, look at this. Look at this. Great start here. Now that I said that, we're probably going to lose 10 in a row. But we got Kansas City. They're 5-4. and four. They sit at second in the AL Central. Game and a half behind the Sox. Matt Thompson picks up the win in Game 1. Noah Syndergaard picks up the win in Game 2. John Means. That's a 2-0 loss to J.C. Cloney. Brad Keller loses to Keegan Aiken in the pen in game number four so we just took two out of three from toronto two out of three from the yanks two out of three from toronto three out of four from kansas city sitting at nine and four we're sitting pretty right now we are sitting pretty all right we're gonna keep rolling here luke rennie jordan belazovic belazovic hopefully i said that right four to two win there for luke rennie he's two and oh on the year matt thompson kenta maeda Ooh, that's an eight one loss padres interested in offering us a trade Vic Caratini, he's a power-hitting catcher, isn't he? If I remember from when he played for the Cubs. Uh, oh, this is me. How about we go to the right team there, Nick? Yeah, he is. A, you know, I don't think they really read the depth chart of the Orioles too well because if they did, they would know that we are pretty set at catcher with our two guys for the future, Severino and Rutschman. So we're going to decline that offer. Uh, two more against Minnesota here. Syndergaard against Jose Barrios. That's a 3 nothing win. John Means, Devin Smeltzer, that's a, th a 6 1 victory. We have now won our first, how is it? 1, 2, 3, 4. We have now won our first five series of the new campaign. Hey, we're rolling. We are rolling. We are tied with Boston for the, the lead in the AL East. Let's go get him here. Let's go after it. All right, two game set against Tampa. Yanni Chirinos against Jace Vines. That's a 2 nothing loss. We got to at least split with him here. Rennie, Hudson, and that's a 6-5 win. Way to come back with one there. Keegan Aiken wins it out of the bullpen. There we go. There we go. 
All right, Matty Thompson, Paul Blackburn against the Oakland A's. And, oh, Jemai Jones. It's just a couple of days. We'll leave him active. We got absolutely smoked right there, 12-3. to Noah Syndergaard, Patrick Corbin. That's a 3-1 win. And John Means, Chris Bassett. That's a loss. Can we rescue the series split here? Jace Bynes, he's 0-3. Due for a win here. And he gets absolutely run over by the Oakland A's, 12-3. So Jace Vines, he's off to a horrible start. Off to a just horrendous start for us. So that, that, that's might maybe going to come back and bite me in the buns here. But at the moment, 14-9, 16-5 is the leader of the division. So three games behind here. You know, it could be a lot worse. Honestly, it could be a heck of a lot worse than what it is. Let's take just a quick peek at the roster to see is anyone does anyone need to be moved. Matt Thompson, he hasn't grown, hasn't dropped yet. That's okay. It's only a month in. Aiken's kind of dropping. Uh, Jace Vines is cold right now. Uh, Noah, did he did he grow? Cindergard, did he drop? He dropped in overall. Really? That's shocking. He's having a good year for himself. One point two two ERA through the month. That's a great year, and even better than him has been John Means, who is growing at 28. So the top two are putting in work. Luke Rennie is not to be forgotten there at 2-0 himself. Jace Vines has been really forgettable. Matt Thompson has also had kind of a forgettable start to the year. Uh, D.L. Hall has had a rough start. So has Will Suzuki, the 18-year-old down there. All right, all right. Let's take a look at our relieving core. Um, we're pretty good. Valdez. Uh, he's starting to fall off. He is starting to fall off. the Yeah, he's falling off the cliff here. So we're going to keep an eye on him. How much money is he due? Only 300K. Okay, that's not bad. So it's not like he's a burden on the payroll, but at 37, Valdez starting to really fall off the cliff here. We'll have to keep an eye on him. Uh, Griffin Jacks. That's weird. I don't know why he's in single A, but I'm okay leaving him down there for right now. Our closers, Ozuna. He he also has had a bit of a rough no not a rough start necessarily nine saves the one blown uh, Hunter Harvey he's looking okay you're not gonna see a lot a ton of growth maybe not a ton of growth so let's go another month here and then we'll take a look before the end of the video depending on how long these take but we got a two game set against uh, Miami we'll reutilize Jemai Jones Luke Rennie Sandy Alcantara that's a loss three to two Matt Thompson El Elizer 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 Hernandez and that's a loss. So a two-game sweep. Kyle Stowers gets injured in AAA. One to two months. Let's get him on the IL. They'll be all right down there. Uh, Cindergard, Marco Gonzalez. Ties that will fix their lineups. That's another win for Noah Cindergard. A 1.02 ERA. The guy's pitching his buns off up here in, uh, in Baltimore. Pitching his buns off. All right, John Means against, I didn't even see who that was, but Tanner Scott blows it out of the bullpen there. one nothing. Uh, Jace Vines, Justice Sheffield, Jace, I've got to see something. I'll make the move if I have to, buddy. You've got to help me out. And he responds with a 3-1 victory, his first in a Baltimore uniform. Very nice, very nice. Luke Rennie, Casey Sadler. And that's a loss. So we're, we're kind of slipping here, guys. We're slipping. We're slipping. Boston's running away from the division here. Uh, Matt Thompson, Tanner Tully. Long sim. Matt Thompson picks up the win there. Cindergard, Shane Bieber. This guy's having a year. And finally, we, we end up taking an L there. The Reds interested in an offer. They've got Amir Garrett, a closer. Uh, 29 years of age. I'm pretty sure I'm going to say no to this already, and I am. There's no reason for me to take that deal. It does not help me at all. Uh, Noah Cindergard finally loses that one. 3-2, to two, his first loss of the year. Not the end of the world. His ERA only bumped up a little bit. John Means, he is pitching lights out as well. So let's not put all the attention on Syndergaard. John Means, Zach Plezak. And that's a 2-1 victory for John Means, who keeps the ERA below 1. What a year he's having. Jace Vines, Julian Merriweather. That's a win. Uh, Wendell Rio, one of, the, one of the, the minor league guys. Just a day or two, we'll keep him active. Another 9 win again. 9 win. Holy cow. 9-6 to six win. I can use my words today. Let's talk about that. Uh, Luke Rennie, Trent Thornton. Ooh, big loss, big loss, big loss. Lots of runs up there. Uh, we'll auto-utilize Rio. Matt Thompson, Alex Vigalde. That's a win, 7-4. to four. Justin Diaz in AAA. 
few days. We'll keep him active. Noah Sendergaard, Nate Pearson. And oh my goodness, did Noah Sendergaard get smoked right there. 8-1. to one. Ouch, ouch, ouch. All right, John Means, Griffith Canning, or Griffin Canning. There we go, there we go. That's a 5-2 win. Jace Vines, Andrew, didn't we just pitch Jace Vines? I think it was John Means. Andrew Haney, that's a 7-0 shutout. Jace, buddy, come on, dog. You're killing me here. Luke Rennie, Jose Quintana, that's an 11-3 loss. Holy cow, we're getting smoked in the middle of the lineup right here. Our middle rotation guys are getting absolutely plastered. Uh, Matt Thompson, Zach Greinke, we're, we're going to have to make some moves here. We're slipping. We're slipping, boys. We're slipping hard. Lance McCullers and then John Means. Will Del Viar. Oh, my goodness. They're getting killed down there. Can my guys stay healthy? 11-4 to 4 win for John Means. He stays. He stays. He's having a good year for himself. But holy cow, my, my minor leagues just getting decimated down there with injuries. All right, three games set against Tampa. Three games set against Tampa. Jace Vines, please give me any reason to keep you here. Give me any reason to keep you. Here we go. Jace Vines, Tyler Glass now. He's 0 6. You have to win this. You got, the, the base Sox will fi figure it out. And it's still Roberto Ozuna picking it up. I don't want to know what Vines' line was here, do I? Do I really want to know what Vines' line was? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Okay, only okay. That's a that's a fair fair outing for him. Fair outing for him. I'll take it. All right, two ga game two here. Rennie and oh wait 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 wait. Do they have a spot start there? Because Glass now is supposed to start that game. Hold hold everything. Did he? Did they get a spot start here? Because no, he pitched seven innings and they want him to start that. Okay, we're just gonna go with it. Maybe they probably had an injury. Yeah, we lose 8-2. to two. Trevor Richards, Luke Rennie. Luke Rennie is getting just steamrolled right now, so we're going to have to make moves here in the middle of the order. Matt Thompson gets smoked. Double A. Oh, guess what? Guess what? Another month-long injury. Injury bug is just creaming my minor leagues right now, and now is the matchup everyone wanted to see, right? Cindergaard against DeGrom. Cindergaard and DeGrom. Here we go. Here we go. And we lose it. Of course we just... We can't we can't buy a run for Noah Sindergaard. It's the offensive struggles all over again. One, two, two, uh, a two right there, a one, a three, a zero, a one. The offense we're just we're just nice and cold. Velo gets injured in Triple A. Oh my gracious, this is ridiculous. Jace Vines just got smoked again. I'm pretty sure David Dahl gets hurt today. Holy cow, guys! What is going on? Did someone come in here and screw with my injury sliders? Like. I don't even know if this is like NHL where you can do that. I never touched the base settings of this thing, but holy cow, Jace Vines is gone, though, man. One and six. Forget that. I'm not sticking around to watch you blow the rest of the year. Uh-uh. That, that ain't flying for me, man. We're getting him out of here. We need to find another starter. Look at this, dude. My starting five is just getting absolutely murdered up here. I, you, what am I supposed to do here? Exactly what do I do here? We got Luke Rennie just stanking it up. 7-9-3 ERA. 36 innings. He can't even make it out of... He, he's making it, what, two, three innings to start? Nine by what? Nine by what? So 9, 18, 27, 36. So he's, he's, he's making it, barely making four innings to start right now. Four innings a start. He's given up eight homers. He's, he's walked 22, struck out 34. His ERA is a, a mile and a half ahead of where it was last season. His whip's a mile and a half ahead of where it was. What is, just, I don't understand, man. I don't understand. Look at the war. That's the big difference. That's just ridiculous, man. Just ridiculous. His walk rate's up there. I don't want to, I don't want to trade Luke Rennie because he's young and he's got potential. And so does Jace, but I just can't. With one and six, I just can't, I can't do it. I can't st sit here and watch him blow a season because he can't get it together, you know? So we're making a move. We're making a move. We're gonna bring somebody in from out of out of out of town because I can't sit and watch this junk right now. So we're going out of division. Let's just let's just pick a team and look. I mean there's there's we're gonna look for a young guy with good potential on a decent contract. Let's just look for a young guy 
good potential on a decent contract. Cardinals, they got they're all in their thirties. I'm not taking someone's ace. That ain't happening. I'm looking for a three or a four starter here. So maybe a guy like no, not not like Eric Lauer. Maybe 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 a guy like Eric Lauer. What's he doing this year? He's pitching well for Milwaukee. Seventy-seven overall, twenty-six years of age, beat potential. He's got room to grow. He's already better than Jace Vines. And they're interested in making that deal one for one. That's a one for one swap they're interested in making. Doesn't impact our budget horribly. Let's make the deal. We're gonna we're gonna make a trade here, bring in Eric Lauer. Eric Lauer, welcome to the Baltimore Orioles. There we go. We're making that change. That's one. One, two, three. I I feel like Randy's gotta go. I almost feel like he has to go. I mean, he stinks. He can't make it out of a start. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with him. You know, I really don't know. But, I mean, I'll have faith in him for right now. But it's not like, it's not, the issue is for me is that it's not like our bullpen is blowing games for us. That's where the trouble comes in. It's not the bullpen choking. It's the it's the starting pitching that is having a stroke on the mound sometimes. I We, we just, we can't have it. All right, Luke Rennie, Max Scherzer. This has been a bum month right here. We have played like a like a like a group of bums after starting off so well. We're sitting at 500. Can we finish the month over 500? It's Luke Rennie, so probably not. And the answer, of course, let's see. We don't have a valid pitching rotation. That's right. I have to put the guy in, don't I? I do have to do that, don't I? Yep. Brewers accepted our trade offer. Great. Eric Lauer, he's now here. Welcome to the team, buddy. Uh, have fun dealing with our. Lack of defense, which is apparently is the issue at 24th. Our, our team has dropped three spots in the rank from where we were. We weren't growing, but it looks like we're just we're stagnant now. Uh, we got to get Lauer in there. Luke Rennie. Matty Thompson is at least growing, so that's nice. But aside from that, I mean, let's maybe make a switch in the lineup here. Severino's already on the bench. I mean, we've already benched him for Rutschman. My entire lineup, look at this. They're all just cold. They're all co Even Corey Seager's cold. I mean, he's only batting 203, barely hitting the snake and ball. 91 contact, 82 contact. I mean, I've got you knocking the ball around. Let's maybe switch you and David and see if that'll help maybe. Spark it, give him a little chance to bat clutch in the cleanup spot. I'm, I'm scratching my head. And, of course, we lose. Is, is it his fault again? It's his fault again. It's the same deal. He can't make it out of out of four innings. Look at that. He's can't barely making it four or five innings every start. Holy cow, it's terrible. Matt Thompson. Go figure somebody else just got injured in AAA. At least we pick up a win. Let's go to the draft. I mean, this is just abysmal. That month was a month that I will happily forget going into the next video. Happily forget going into the next video. Steven Padilla. Uh, looks like the best guy, but we probably need to be taking starters or something else because, I mean, this is just this is this has just been a rough a rough go. At, you know, just a rough rough spot that we we're in now. Rough month. Osuna dropped an overall right there. Seager's the same. Syndergaard's back up at 91 because he's pitching his butt off up here trying to keep us in ball games. I don't need another second baseman. I feel like I'm going to have to take this closer guy just because I know he's the real deal at 80 potential. So we'll take Steve Padilla. We'll trade him. We'll flip him for an asset. I don't know, but we got to change something because this ain't playing. This ain't playing. And now, Evidently, I'm looking at the draft with the least amount of starting pitchers I think I've ever seen in an MLB draft in my entire life. We'll take Jared Trotter right there in the competitive balance round. I mean, holy cow. Is this... This is just... I, there's no words. I'm going to have to do a lot of looking at this off camera just to try and make this work. Here's another starter, Rico Cora. I mean, it just oof. It leaves a sour taste in your mouth watching a month like that. Pena. We're just taking pictures here. I can always find depth at positions. Jesus Hernandez. There we go. I know it's Jesus. I'm just making a play on words there. He 
He's going to take a long time to get here. I don't have that time. Let's 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 play with Quincy Wiley here. Let's take one position guy. He looks like an interesting piece there. And there we go. So let's get out of the first year player draft. Let's go sign our draft picks. We're running right up on 40 minutes, which is about where I want to be at. Let's take a look. Anybody going to wow me here with the overall? Not necessarily, but Steve Padilla is pretty close to the show already. So we will definitely be hanging on to him. Let's get all these guys under contract. No one's no one's getting uh, left out or anything. Someone with 88 potential, that's Rico Cora, so he'll be a good piece for us into the future. So we got our draft picks signed, and yeah, boys, so we're, we're here at 25 and 25. Um, not exactly where I wanted to be after the first month. The Red Sox starting to run away with the division, eight and a half games ahead. So it looks like, once again, we're going to be stuck fighting for uh, best of the rest here with the Jays, the Rays, and the Yanks. So right now we're, we're two and a half games clear. We'll see if we can keep that going in the next one. And uh, we're three and a half games out of the AL wild card. So it looks like that's the race, once again, that we're going to have to keep our eyes on. But, yeah, great start, followed by a... Uh, a rough month there so we've got some work to do we got to get the defense there we've got to get the uh, the offense to show up when it when it can um, and we've just got to let our young guns grow so it might be another rough strainful year here in Baltimore but as always I, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch uh, don't don't forget to uh, like subscribe share with your friends if you hated it just act like this didn't happen you don't have to do anything um, but be sure to, to sub, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our sports gaming content. Uh, with that, I'm done. That's all I've got for you. So everyone have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one.